So I've been preparing uh, my upcoming video segment on uh, Elusive Victory. I'm going to go through little tutorial videos and discuss playing the game and also do maybe a couple raids. So I've been going through them here on my table, sorting things out, sort of planning it in my head. Uh, so this should be out fairly soon. In fact, I hope today, later today, to start actually recording a lot of this stuff because I feel confident enough that I don't won't sound like a bumbling fool. But, dun 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 dun, the U.S. Civil War came today. So I don't normally do unboxing videos. I think that was like one of the first things I ever did on BGG was an unboxing video for, um, what was it, Labyrinth? Yeah. I don't normally do these, but I just got it, and it's such an impressive game. It looks so nice and, and, and shiny, and of course it's new, so I figured, why not? Why not just open it up? So let me go ahead and put the camera here. And let's go ahead and just sort of tear into it. Um, here's the other side here. Let me check out the glare. Yeah, so we got standard, sort of like the hex map, and uh, with the nice, you know, eastern part of the United States, some of the central part, right? Uh, it says it's complexity of six and solitaire suitability of like half. Um, so we'll see what the, actually that is. I mean, honestly, I ordered this game mainly because it, I, I really wanted like a very, well, I guess what is this operational level style of, um, it's a two strategic level war game or whatever, you know, I think it's bigger than that, I guess. I don't know. Might be kind of talking out of my mouth there. Anyway. I wanted sort of a game that kind of encompassed the entire Civil War because I had little piecemeal Civil War games I've sort of dabbled with, but this one seemed to be a little bit bigger scale, and it's something I could probably better grasp my mind around because I understand the Civil War in more broad strokes as opposed to the fine detailed uh, brushes that the various little battle games will do. Well, they're not even little, they're often huge. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this. Just rambling. Oh, it's nice and tightly packed in there. It's the big thick box style, so that's nice. All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, totally out of focus, aren't we? There we go. Oh, wow, this is very nice. That looks nice, really nice, glossy, really kind of impressive. I know, I know a lot of people do not like gloss rule books because you can't write on the, in them as easily. Um, uh, let's teach their own, but it's nice and full color. It looks sweet. It's pretty, pretty nice. And oh, we got a little spacer. Is that what this is? What is this? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen them use a spacer before, unless I'm just pulling out. Oh, interesting. Well, we'll see where that all spaced out. Probably kept it all nice and tight when it was shipped, and it actually the box came fairly well shipped. So people that uh, hate on the post office. I can tell you that my local carrier is pretty good. Anyway, so I got some display cards here for the Union Army and for the Confederate Army. So a way to kind of group everybody together so you can have just one marker. Oh, let's see, they've got nice color setup cards. That's pretty nice. And uh, layer eight, looks like I've got a couple of these. So also, very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Train effects, trying to get the glare out, sorry. It's, once again, it's getting cloudy in Portland again, so that's nice, it's raining, but it's also harder to film things during the day. Oh yeah, look at that, that's very nice. Let's get a little closer, as you can see those. Now I have no experience with uh, Victory Games Civil War, which apparently this is uh, this is not just like a successor to it. It's more like a it's, it incorporates a lot of other designs, from what I understand from reading online. But uh, you can tell it has a lot in, indebted to that game in general, like shape and size and sort of the counters that they use here. But it's its own it's its own entity. Okay, yeah, these little cards. I bet this is what makes it less solitaire friendly, but I'm sure there's a way you could figure out just to mitigate the use or randomize the use. I'm sure that could be done. Maybe I'll open those up in a second. Uh, wow, nice, sweet, small dice. Yay. And then the real treat is that you really have these two giant mat boards, which I will unfurl here. Let's go ahead and put this down here and I'll get it all set up. So it has that nice new smell <laughs> which is 
always pleasant, right? I think that's half the experience, right? It's smell and everything. That's kind of what brings out the whole, like, I think why people love getting new games, the newness, and also just the general coolness. It smells a big part of the coolness. Okay, so let's pull this out now and take a look. So, what are we looking at here? I probably have this upside down. <laughs> Sorry, well, you're going to get the upside down look here. Um, yeah, this is the, uh, what am I saying? The western part of the board. Down there's the gulf. So you can see this is, go close, so you know everything goes again upside down. Oh, that's just going to really annoy the OCD me. I really don't have OCD, but... I know some people do, and even that would bug me, I guess. So there we go. Fixed. So yeah, look at that. I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, see? Yeah, I'm going to flatten this out a little bit, but it works. Here's sort of the side map key. Yeah. So anyway, there's two of these, so it makes, what is this, if this is a 22 by 34, so that's people what is that, uh, still 34, but it's just 44, right? Because 22 times 2. But it's nice. It's actually very nice quality. My board looks good here. Don't see any issues. Yeah. So let's take a look at these cards, because I'll just go ahead and do the full, the full exploration if we're going to do that. Oh yeah, and these are these are little guys. They're like smaller than if you play the stage of or uh, like um, I'm not trying to say the victory point games, the siege, siege games, states of siege. It's even smaller than that. So we got these are just play markers. I'm guessing. I don't know. What are these? Oh yeah. Interesting. So we'll see what these do. Allow amphibious invasion, maximum three SPs. Interesting. Naval. Let me sort of have other cards. I'm sure this all has something interesting to do. Anyway, very nice. See, look at that. Really nice uh, drawings and stuff there. So anyway, that is uh, just a little brief look at the U.S. Civil War. Or, yeah, the U.S. Civil War is what it's called, right? I think. Now with Spacer. Anyway. I'll leave it at that, so that's that, and uh, later today we will start doing tutorial videos of the elusive victory, so if you're excited about that, I am. This is going to be a fun game, I think, so anyway, a little prelude of prelude, but I wanted to do that, so there we go.